Hi, um, this is MadGod24, and welcome to the Anime Studio Pro 5 tutorial, which I'll show you how to do many things that I know, and maybe you can teach me some things. Uh, and if you're wondering about my background, I got it from DigitalBlasphemy.com. Okay, now, the first things first, the first thing you need to do is open up Anime Studio Pro, which you probably already have that open. Click, click. And, uh, okay. This thing pops up. Uh-huh. Okay. Windsor. Yeah, we don't really need him. New file. Deleting that to get that out of the way. Okay. If you already don't know, I'm going to teach you how to put bones on a character and make him move. Okay, I'm just going to open up really quick one right now. Um, put a character, get that out of the way. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna open up uh, Tubby. Okay, here's Tubby. He already has bones here. Yeah, see. I am going to delete these just so I can show you what to do. And, okay. Now. Say, drag that layer in there. Okay. I'm just gonna make a really, really retarded thing just to show you what to do. Okay, it's like a polygon type thing. Okay, so draw. You draw your character. Then you go over to that tool. Fill them in the color, whatever you want, purple, whatever. Okay, since this is in here, I want you to go to this cool little button right there. Go to bone. So now you have a bone layer. This holds your character's whole entire skeleton. Okay, what you want to do is make sure this arrow is pointing down. I want you to click and drag into there. Follow me. Alright. Now, we have this layer inside the bone layer, correct? Okay. Click on, to draw, start drawing your bones, click on the bone layer. Then, you see this tool will appear. Once you click on that, that won't appear. You have to click on the bone layer. Sorry if I'm talking too fast, but I just want to get this done. Okay. Click on the bone layer. Alright. These bones are have to be all connected in the order that you want. And the rotation is at the ball point tip most of the bone. So if I were to put a bone here, it would rotate like this. Follow me? Okay, I'm going to delete that. Okay. I am going to make a little wormy dude. So I want him to rotate like this. Okay. Say, if you were to make an arm, whatever these bones are pointing, they're like arrows. They have to be connected. It's a lot easier to find your bones from like that. So, if you want to go to this tool, it sort of looks like glasses, called Repair and Bone. Click on that. You see that's the opposite way. What I want you to do is... Hang on for a moment. Let's set my mic down. Okay. What I want you to do is to select okay you have that selected I want you to push alt and select a bone I want you to select a bone any bone that you have connected and then just click out of anywhere and see that arrow will disappear that's indicating that that bone is not connected to anything um, first things first after you draw your bone uh, I would do that with every single bone to make sure that there's no arrows going to any so then you can just connect them okay if you imagine a human skeleton or an animal skeleton any kind of skeleton in your mind they all move a certain way they all have to be connected in that same order so if you had a leg it had to be connected to a foot which the leg would have to be connected to the hip and the body etc okay I want you to while you're in that tool I want you to hold alt and select a bone. And then 
whatever bone you click on from there, that will connect to that bone, as I just showed you here. Okay, so I want you to do that till every single one that you want connected together. And you could you should pause the video right here, continue on, continue the next step. Okay. The next step this gets a little harder if you are, you don't already know how to do this. Okay. I want you to click on the layer that you have in your bone layer which we'll be moving, we'll be trying to move. And there'll be a little tool on the bottom underneath the bone section in your tools called bind points. Now this tool selects the area of points you want to move. So click on that. Click on the bone that you would like to move. Say I want to move this one. Hold shift, click, left click, and drag to select the area you want. Then hit the space bar a couple times. Like that. Okay, do that for the bones that you want to have connect and move the area. So what you have to do is hold alt, select a bone, then hold shift, left, left click, and drag. There you go. Then double tap on the space bar a couple times. You got that? Now, if I had this right, if you want to sample this bone, or sample what you're moving, there's this little tool called Manipulate Bones. So you click on that, and see, if you click on a bone and move it, it'll move like that. But, oh, I should have made that a little sharper. Sharp corners right here would move a lot better. But say that like, this is an arm, or something, but I know what you're thinking, that's terrible. Now, okay, see this sort of area, this shaded area around this bone? That is your bone strength. That also sort of um, sets the area of your bone, what area it affects. To do that, you need to click on your bone layer, and there'll be this little tool underneath the bone, which has a circle around it, and it'll say bone strength. To Manipulate this, which is the area around the bone. Click on a bone, and then click on the area, and slightly drag it in. You do that for your bones, like the area you want. Like, say, I have this little purple area that I want move. I don't want this bone strength to be this huge, because I'm not moving the outside. I just want right here. Okay, so. The moving kind of got a little better. It's a little wormy, okay. Now, that's how you edit a whole character. But a little tip that I use sometimes with this program is if you want to make an arm that, say, wants to be behind an arm, you would make another bone layer, layer within this group as an arm. But I'll conclude that in my next tutorial. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something on how to use this program. That's my goal here because once you first got this program, it was probably tough to use. And now you know how to move a character. I'll get to editing the timeline and stuff. I'm learning too, but if you have anything that I didn't conclude or include in my movie, in this tutorial, or anything that maybe I could learn from, that'd be great because I'm learning with this too. It's pretty complicated, but. You great people out there that can use this really good and just animate all over the place, just let me know and give me any tips. Okay, thank you.